So, about eight months ago, I get an email from a man named Desaf asking if I wanted to help out an animal rescue of over 1,300 animals by staying in their animal-friendly hotel, three meals a day, and going on excursions for free in Costa Rica, all in exchange for exposure on my Instagram. Way too good to be true. But, only one way to find out. So, after verifying with others who took up the offer, I booked my flights. Took that two hour foggy drive in the middle of the night, and in the morning I was immediately greeted by all kinds of plants and animals, seeming to be thriving and perfectly content in this tucked away sanctuary. The next few days I was busy on the excursions they'd set up for me, such as dropping from the Tarzan swings, zip lining through the canopies of the jungle, rafting in the Rio Balsa, horseback riding, and rappelling down watery canyons. And that's not even touching on the gorgeous property with a pool, an on-site yoga studio, and acres of land for the free-roaming animals that's teeming with stunning wildlife and views. And let me tell you about the delicious food. Completely vegan and almost all of their options can be made gluten-free. I was always looking forward to trying something new. But now to the most important part of this whole trip the animals. It all started out with 16 friends from Israel, who wanted to find a place they could all live their lives away from expectations. They found this hotel property being sold, and they brought all of their pets with them, adding up to about 25 dogs and 50 cats. As word got out that they were animal lovers with a bunch of room, people started bringing in lost and hurt animals that needed help. And by a happy accident, Lands in Love was born. Today, they now have over 450 dogs, almost 300 cats, and so many other animals that have been brought in from abuse and abandonment. I've truly never seen a shelter that takes such good care of their residents, with volunteers tasked to not only care for, but specifically give love and attention to each and every one every day. Many of them spend their whole lives here, and should they pass away, each one gets a memorial and burial, painted headstones, or a mural to remember them by. There's so many with tragic stories, like Pons, a puppy brought in after someone cut her tail off with scissors, or this adorable sweetheart, caught in an awful car accident, and all that's left is this scar when it was uncertain that they were able to save her eye. That's only two of the hundreds. You can see on their Instagram all the graphic conditions that many of them show up in, and the recovery and happy life updates. Currently, they're saving money to expand the doghouse and get an operating on-site vet office due to the current closest vet being an hour drive away, and they often have emergencies that sometimes are too late to reach. That's where all the donations go, and people staying at the hotel are encouraged to give attention to the animals, and there's always a dog happy to go for a walk. Asaf is allowing me to do a giveaway, consisting of everything offered to me. A five-night stay at Lands and Love Hotel, three delicious meals a day, and six of the fun excursion activities. The way to enter is by using the link down below to donate to the shelter. So regardless, you know you'll be helping out the animals. $5 to $10 is one entry, $25 is three entries, $50 is eight entries, and $100 or more gives you 10 entries. And if you stumble upon this video by the time the giveaway is over, don't worry. You can always donate and guests will always be welcome and appreciated. Amazing work and mission of the Lands and Love Hotel aside, as someone who's enthralled by wildlife, entomology, and horticulture, getting to visit a country known for its national parks and to see species I've only ever seen in captivity owes an enormous thank you to the founders of Land and Love for this experience. Though, these geese always had something to say. I really can't wait to make it back here one day and bring friends that I just know would have an awesome experience as well. So this isn't goodbye, tierra sin amor. This is just, until next time.